Uh, let's talk about Chelsea next, though, Leanne. Um, significant investment in player transfers this summer. £207 million spent, strategically leveraging a, a loophole within FFP financial fair play. Under Todd Bowley and Clear Lake Capital, Chelsea have committed approximately £800 million to player acquisitions. They have spread most of that out over eight-year contracts to adhere uh, to existing player deals. We have heard, however, a recent change in regulations uh, limiting those contract lengths and the, if you like, you, you can keep the contracts longer, but you can't spread the payments out in terms of your accounting over more than five years. Uh, should cost the club around £60 million annually. So it's it's manoeuvring financially should we say they have sold some players as well around about 250 million pounds during this uh, period which will definitely help their bank balance Talksport does understand though that Chelsea have held preliminary talks with Nottingham Forest over the signing of Brennan Johnson that of course is after they missed out on Michael Elise who signed a new four year contract with Crystal Palace but let's talk about this spending this spending doesn't make sense I've said it on the show before because when you think about what the best part of a billion pounds we're seeing all these memes go up about them spending more money than pretty much every league in football um, bar what the Premier League as a whole during that period in time more than La Liga I think maybe just slightly less than the Saudi Pro League I mean it's crazy it's absolutely crazy what are Chelsea trying to do? Honestly I think Todd Bowley's running this club like I used to play FIFA as a kid when I used to want every single centre forward in the eleven, and not even think about any type of plan because I think they're willing to do this and suffer the consequences years down the line because look at Manchester City last year. All that talk about financial fair play, are they going to get these trophies taken away? They went on to win the treble. They didn't get any points deducted. Yes, it's still ongoing, but I think Chelsea are okay with this. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me and for them to still think they need players and want to take other people's players like Elise, it doesn't sit right with me. Nearly a billion pounds and they still moan about them not having the right players. There's not, the business model isn't there. How many coaches in the last 20 years under Remarine stuff, I think they had like eight in 20 years or something like that you can't run a football club like that where you're just sacking managers left right and centre there's no stability at that club and that's why I am surprised that Caicedo went to Chelsea you know people saying, oh you know it was his dream club he tagged the Emirates as his dream club at Arsenal <laughs> about six months ago on Instagram so you know great fantastic story and I think he's a fantastic signing but if I was a player I wouldn't sign for Chelsea right now the only sign you would because of Pochettino no. w- sorry you would why would I Eight-year contract. I don't care, Hugh. I was different to most players. more money than any other club is offering you. Come on, Leo, no, for your what family. To play? Yeah, right. hold you on, have hold to on, make on. that decision. I would be able to be okay with my family if I was on 300 grand a week on a two-year contract. If I looked after my money the way players should look after their money, they should be okay. But it doesn't matter. Like, what do you, you mean? Can, you can always have more money. Oh, come on, you. If you're no, greedy. come on. Seriously. If you're greedy. There's nothing to do with greed. So you, you, okay, Moises you would take money. Though. You would take money over playing in a stable club. You're on 300 grand a week, or you're going to go to a club, might not play and get 500 grand a week, if a and smaller, have a six-year contract. If a smaller radio station offers me twice as much money annually, but guarantees me a nine-year contract, you, you, you come on. Well, that's where th- you and I are different. You've got to think about nah, it. No, that's where you and I are different, because what? you do. Because what can't these players not do right now that they can do in the future by the way I love talk sport I don't want to go anywhere do you know what I mean though just, just no, putting it out there in case greed. the bosses are listening I think it's greed Hugh I think it's greed <laughs> it's not greed I'm all for taking money I don't hold it against Jordan Henderson and those players for going to Saudi I don't I don't hold it against them a lot of people do and they say oh you know they're on all this money but, yeah well Kai, you, Kai Sado hasn't signed for a small football club he signed for Chelsea football club you that know, are unstable. I'm not I, denying I, I that. that. They're a massive football club and I love Maurizio Pochettino. He would be the draw for me. But other than that, what are Chelsea doing right now? 12th in the league last year? What are they doing right now, I Hugh? just think you have to make a decision that's best for your family. That's yeah. a, That's an eight-year deal with the a, a possibility of a further year added on to that. So it could be nine in total if he plays all right. Nah. You can still earn good money in a a Premier League on another club. Yeah, high salary. You you don't know know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. If you're Moises Caicedo, you don't know. Look what's happened to to Ryan Mason, for example. You don't know that you're going to be the next player that gets a fractured skull or a brain injury that means you have to retire in two or three I'm years I'm not denying time. that, but if they've not earned enough money, if he's not earned enough money at this point, then he needs to have but a think about think how, you've how gotta, he's taking care of his money. You've got to make the sensible decision for you and your family, and that is to take... And no footballing reasons. Well, he so plays sign for, for a club. He, he plays for Chelsea. It's not like... I could... Okay, so Mudrick then goes there. What's he done? 
gone on a seven-year contract, is it? Yeah. What has he done at Chelsea since he's got there? Has his career got better? He's not played. No, but it doesn't matter. To who? To the player? No, Do you think uh, that's listen, right? I'm sure he wants to play. Do you think that's right, though? And he the player's just going there wants, to pick up the money? He wants to play better. It's not about right or wrong. I think it is. No, I it's think, not about right I, or wrong. I think it is about right a or wrong. A player has you. to make a decision that's best for them and their families. Sorry, if they can't do what they do on 200 grand a week the same as they do on 400 grand a week, their head needs a wobble because I'm all for going for places and choosing your family and looking after them, but Moises Caicedo could have stayed at Brighton and looked after his family, couldn't he? He could have. He could have, but there's, if you like, there's levels to it. You know, and, and ultimately, I think guarantee, the future guarantees are different. Even if you sign a five-year deal, if you went to Liverpool, signed a five-year deal, we're talking about the possibility of, of the contract that he's got at Chelsea is him playing for Liverpool and then moving to another big club after that. That's how much money they've given him. It's two, if you like, it's it's half your career paid for. It's not just for. him, though. It happens to a lot of players. It's not just Kai oh, Sado. I, I don't hold it against him. No, I, But I, I think it's too greedy. I think footballers are too greedy now. But I can understand. you can understand why those players have signed for Chelsea. Come on, Leanne. No, I don't. At this point, if you've got Liverpool, if I've got Liverpool or Chelsea to sign for, I'm going to Liverpool right now. That being said, Brennan Johnson may have the option of moving from Nottingham Forest to Chelsea very, very soon. That's different because you're going what? from Forest to Chelsea. <laughs> no, but that is different. Moises Caicedo played for Brighton. Yeah, with all no, due no, respect. no, no, no. But sorry, the difference in quality of Caicedo and Brennan Johnson. I mean, if I was Brennan Johnson who could go to Chelsea right now, I'm going. The quality of Caicedo, he could play in any top, any top team in the world. He is quality and he's worth every penny. I'm not denying that. But Brennan Johnson to Chelsea, go. If he could go, absolutely. I'm all day long so, so now you do understand it. Well, for him, it's different, Hugh. Caicedo is absolutely quality. Brennan Johnson, I'm sure he can't quite believe that Chelsea have come in for him. There's levels, Hugh. There's levels okay. to the quality of players. Okay, all right. And, and just in terms of the spending, I don't see it slowing down from Chelsea at any point in time. Because it doesn't seem like there is a way of reeling them back in. Because ultimately, we haven't seen a club go down the road of spending massively, massively, you know, over the FFP regulations in this country in terms of the Premier League in particular. OK, we've had teams who've been charged and we're going to wait to see what the end of that process is. All we've really seen is clubs enter dialogue with the Premier League and kind of curtail their spending, think of Everton at the moment, off the back of being told you need to slow down. But we haven't seen a club flagrantly say oh, we're going to spend whatever we want to and and that might not necessarily be the case with Chelsea right now given the number of players that they've sold and have they improved though Hugh do you see well, that's another we, talk about, we spoke about Manchester United before about plans this club's spending so much money nearly a billion yeah. and you look at their starting 11 they should be running away with the league yeah they that, should with the amount of money they spend that surprises me however they've gone for young players clearly they think over the long term they're going to produce a side that can challenge and they're right at the beginning of that process because that's the only way that you Better can Better pray kind of... that that process pays off genuinely because it's a high-risk situation. It's not proven that these players that they're buying that are young, absolutely they could come good, but it's, it's a real risk to take. Uh, Brennan Johnson, just finally on that, I know we've got a break, but um, he's a, for me, he's in the Michael Elise position. I wouldn't advise him to go to a football club unless I thought he was genuinely going to play. I know you're saying he should go, but actually I think... Because when will this opportunity come round again for a terms, player like Brennan Johnson? If he develops and it looks like he's got high potential, then it could come around for him once again. But he'll always get taken care of at Nottingham Forest, yeah. of course. I think he has to seriously consider that before he, he signs for Chelsea. Yeah, I think so as well. I think Elise will definitely has the quality to go to a top club. Brennan Johnson, if I was him, I'd go in a heartbeat because I don't know about this opportunity coming round again. 